Hey there and welcome back to this video series about how we create a RESTful API in Firebase. We created the read, the specific read route that will take an ID number and return this particular product. And the next thing is to create a more, um, another read route that will uh, get all the products to us, okay? So we're gonna take yeah, we can reuse this one here, make a new one here. And it's going to be read all products. So now we don't need an ID here because we're just going to tell the API, I just, I just want all the products right now. Okay, so this is nice and clean. And uh, we're just going to remove this. So let's start coding here. Okay, so we make a query first and we need to use our database collection. And again, we're using products because we want to query the database for all the products that we have. We're making the query here. And again, we're making a response like we did in uh, the other read here. So we're preparing our response to the client, whether that is Postman or frontend. So now we're making kind of processing the query. So we get the results from the query. And then we make a snapshot of the query, what it looks like, what data it has. And so then we need to do a function here. Do we're gonna make, we're gonna use our query snapshot and we wanna get the documents so this is the the result of the query here. And basically we're gonna make a loop where we are running through each of the documents. So we're running through all of the documents in this in this list here, in this collection. And because we need to actually prepare kind of an array or list for the response. So we have to add all the documents from our snapshot, from our query result, and then add them to um, a list that we're gonna send in the response. So we have ID and then document ID, because we're running through all the documents here. We have name, that is gonna be the document, data. Oh, oh and I'm making a mistake there. Description. And finally, we need price. And the price here, all right. And down here, we're, let me see if I made a mistake here. We're just gonna return, return our response. Oh, no, sorry, we're not going to return the response here. We're just going to add uh, and oops. it's going to be inside the loop for each each time the loop runs. We're going to add this uh, item, this product to our response. And then when we're when we're done in the loop here, we will return the response. And this is because uh, according to um, according to Express, each then should should return a value. Otherwise we're gonna get an exception to this. Because we also need to return the response in the end of the asynchronous call here. So we are querying the database. We are creating a response. We are uh, getting a query snapshot, the result of the of the query, and we're putting this in our va variable docs, and then we're uh, looping through all the different documents in this, uh, in this array or this collection here. And then we prepare an item at a time and then add it to our response. 
and send the response. And actually, we probably need to do one more thing here in the end. We probably need to do because we're actually sending the response. So we should send status 200 again and then send our response. Yep. So this should be the final return here, okay? And we have the normal catch block down here. So let's see what's going to happen here if we launch a server. Oh, we should be in the correct directory here. Functions, and then in Postman, we can create a new request. Read all products. And we can take the previous read here and then copy the URL because now we just need to provide slash read. Still a get because we want to get some data. Did we have any errors? No. So let's send this request and see if it explodes or what happens here. All right. So now Express and Firebase, Cloud Firestore, and the Cloud function. Um, yeah, it runs the function here or the uh, the request because we specified that this app should run each time there is a new request and Postman just sent a new request and um, it seems to work if we try to add a new product using our create yeah I know these names might not be so creative but I think we're gonna survive here Product C, more awesome. This is good. Let's send this. And now we should have three products. Let's just inspect Firebase. More awesome. So this is good. More, more awesome. And if we retry our read, then we get all products. One, two, three, okay. So that should conclude this video here where we've created the reads, the specific one, and the one that takes all the products. All right. Thank you for watching and have fun with this. Bye-bye.